Welcome to RCTV. It's your boy Rally Captain. Hail date 8 11 2018. Well, Redskin Nation, as you know by now, we were dealt a huge blow two nights ago with our second round pick going down for the year. But I have to tell you, it's not all lost, ladies and gentlemen, because we have a stable in the backfield. Yes, I am with you. It was a hard thing to swallow with Geis going down. But unfortunately, what does the NFL stand for? Not for long. And Geis, you will not be gone for long. You will be back next year stronger and faster than ever before. And Rescue Nation, we feel that in our heart of hearts. That's how we believe, and I need you guys from at home, whether you are in, in your car, wherever you may be at this time doing this, we need you to throw up a prayer for guys for speedy recovery. We know that Dr. Andrews is going to do miracles with this young man. That's what Dr. Andrews does, and that's why he's on our team as our doc. Now, as I was saying, we have a lot of guys in the backfield who can carry the rock. I'm not concerned with them. I'm really not. I, I, I saw enough to know that the guys that we have can carry the rock. No issues. So you may ask, well, Cap, what issues do you have? The issues that I have is who's going to block for them? How are we looking on the front line? That's the telltale sign. It is. If you don't have somebody to block, whether whether it's Geis, whether it's P. Ryan, whether it's Bibbs, whether it's not, you got to have somebody up front who can get it, get the job done. What they call them, the big uglies. That's what it's going to boil down to. Who we put on that front line, and are we really healthy? That's what it boils down to. I have no cut card. I love you guys. Know I love my skins, but the front line has got to get it done. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter who's in the backfield. There's no secret behind that. But I have faith, like you guys have faith, that we can get it done. Actually, guess what? We don't have a choice but to get it done. We don't have a choice. So, moving on. Give Mo Harris the rock. He's proven himself. Put him in more formations to get the rock. Mo Harris, that's for you, my man. You did well. Settle. My man, I'm not telling you guys anything that you don't already know here at training camp. Settle. You got your man. Slim, you got your man. You're going to be a good rotation. I can't wait for this second and third game to see more guys step up and do what needs to be done. We, along with everybody else, is looking to, for a way out of the injury bug. My first post that I made back in the first day of training camp, I said this will be the if season if we stay healthy if this happens if that happens and let me tell you if it does you guys will see a much improved team what we do know is this whoever jay puts in his offense that offense can score points that we know we know that I don't care who you are. We know the Grudens can scheme up an offense. We need good defense. And we have the things in place right now to make it happen. If you don't believe me, turn my post off right now. But if you believe me, stay with me. And I've always said it, and it's this year's theme, alone, we are nothing but together, we hail. That is the motto this year. Alone we are nothing but together we hail. And I need you guys to hail with me because you know I'm going to ride or die whether we are 16 and 0 or 0 and 16. This is what it comes down to. We hate to say it and we it's very cliche. Cliche. Next man up. We say next man up, but do we really feel that in our hearts? Well, guess what? We don't have a choice. Whether we 
you want to believe it or not, it's next man up. So as I stand to you here in Richmond at Bon Secours Training Camp, hail to the Redskins, it is the next man up. We hope and pray that we will not have any more injuries. That's what we hope for. Unfortunately, it's the nature of the beast. You don't like it, I don't like it, but it is what it is. And what can we do? So, because let me tell you something. It's a double-edged sword, right? Who are we practicing with tomorrow? The Jets. What happened if guys got hurt in practice with the Jets? Would you say, oh, we shouldn't have been practicing. He should have been practicing. He's out there, second round pick. We should have been practicing. No, you can't have it both ways. This was a football injury, unfortunately, due to the turf. Let's call it what it is. So. Let's not, let's not say, well, we shouldn't have played him. Or, or let's say, for instance, and I, can't, I don't want to speak it into existence, but something else stupid happens. Are you going to say, well, you should have played him? Or guess what? Those guys weren't football ready. They weren't in football shape. You have to play. We aren't the only team that is bitten by the injury bug. However, it's near and dear to us because it's our team. Now, on a happier note, guess what? I got Dallas fans calling me, telling me that they don't even want to look at their team this year because of whom? Their owner. I told them to come on to the Burgundy and Gold. They're burning jerseys. They're, 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 they're giving up on their team because of their owner. Come on over to the Burgundy and Gold. We got room for you over here. That's on a happier note. They're giving it up. They, they don't want anything to do with the Cowboys. You see it. You see it. Come on over to the Burgundy and Gold and rep it hard or don't rep it at all. And as you can see, they're not even trying to rep it at all with the blue and silver or blue and white or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. It's, I know they blue in something. So, and right now they're really blue. They, they, they down in the dumps, y'all. They lower than low. They can't take it. All right. So, this is going to be another edition of RCTV. I'll be coming back to you at a later date. I want you to know, as one, we are nothing. But together, we hail. Rep it hard, or don't rep it at all. It's your boy Rally Captain, and I'm out.